Oh. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Crystal from the Leafy Loft MTL, short for Montreal, if you didn't already know. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a little unboxing. This is just a small order that I made. It's only two plants, but one of them is very exciting. <laughs> and I'm sure you noticed in the heading of the video. It is a, and excuse me if I pronounce it incorrectly, but it is a philodendron polypodoides. I believe that's how you say it, or polypodioides. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to say. It's a, a weird name. Um, anyway, so I've wanted this one for a really, really long time. Um, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the price to come down because it was ridiculously priced um, because of its rarity. Um, a while back, it was rarer than it is now. It's starting to come into the market a little bit more. So the price is still high, but it's more reasonable. There was a point when it was about a thousand and then it was down like six, 800. And at the moment, I think I'm seeing it between like 150, 200, 250, 300, 400, depending on where you go. But uh, it is dropping. Um, so I finally have it. I'm so excited. And this order, like I was waiting for it all day. If you follow me on uh, TikTok or Insta, you probably saw me. I made a little joke video about it because I was just so excited. I was like checking outside all the time. Every time I heard a noise, I was like, is that it? Is that gonna be it? <laughs> So, it's finally here. It's in my hands. Yay! And there's a second plant in here as well, which I'll leave as a surprise, just so that there's some fun surprise in this. Um, okay, so I'm going to very carefully open up the box. With my tiny, tiny little bird-shaped scissors. <laughs> Maybe you can't see from there, but they are little gold bird design, it's like a crane. <laughs> Just a little detail. <laughs> I always get nervous when I'm cutting open boxes like this. I'm always afraid something might be at the surface that I can't see, so I'm always trying to like angle it as best as possible. Oh, of course, it's in the thermal box. I have forgotten. So it is safe, which is great because I am in Montreal, like I said, and it is very cold. It's not the middle of winter, but it is still winter. Let's see. How am I going to get this out? I have trapped myself between my lemon tree and this table, and I don't have any wiggle room, so I'm going to move the table a bit. There we go. <laughs> Maybe rip the box a bit. Okay. <laughs> there we go. second box. <laughs> this one might be squeaky and loud so if that kind of noise bothers you when I pull the tape off you might want to like turn down the volume for a second. It might be fine but it might be loud on the microphone. Mm, I think it's going to take forever that way so my bird scissors are back. <laughs> very well packed as it usually is well always is actually from bioterra um that is a kind of local um 
plant seller near me, um, not exactly in Montreal, but in Quebec. And his name is Stan. I've ordered many a plant from him. I'm going to start with the surprise plant. <laughs> the one I didn't name yet. So this one, you probably recognize the shape. I'm going to stand up. Make sure you can see. You probably recognize this shape. It is usually called Sansevieria, um, but it has been reclassified, I believe, as Dracaena. And it, this one is a little bit different from the typical common name snake plant. <laughs> and this one is called Copper Tone. So it has kind of a coppery color to it. And it looks like greenish and it has like a, a coppery undertone mixed in. And the more light it gets, the more coppery it'll get. And the edges are also a little red. It's quite beautiful. It's another one that I've wanted for a while. I, I really like the Dracaena or Santaveria, whatever you prefer to say. I really like that uh, group of plants. So I'm excited to add another one of them. They're really easy care, which is always appreciated. Um, a lot of people say you can put them in super dark places in your house. And I mean, you can, but only for so long. Like they still thrive in a lot of sun. So it's better to put them in high light location if you can. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. That's enough of him. <laughs> Actually, I'll put him on the table. He can sit here. Can we see him? Yes. Oh, oh, he's floppy. Let me get something to hold him up. We will temporarily. I will put him in this little thing. Perfect. I didn't even plan that. I literally just reached over to a giant pile of pots that I had sitting there and it just happened to be the perfect size. <laughs> okay, so we'll put him here for our scene. The last one, the philodendron polypoidies, days, polypodoides. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm so happy. to be very gentle. Ooh, I see green. <laughs> I'm so happy. You know, I love all plants, literally all of them. But sometimes one kind of like sticks with you. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And this is one of those ones that the first time I saw it, I was just in love and I was like, that is special to me. I'm really, really happy that it's finally happening. So this one looks a little yellowed, but I mean, it's just gone through shipping. So it's pretty, it's in pretty good condition for something that just shipped. Look at those beautiful, beautiful fork-like or palm-like leaves. I mean, in general, it's kind of palm-ish. <laughs> and I say fork-like because the tips here, uh, like at the base where the leaf meets the petiole, there's this part that you can see, and there's also these other two parts that are reminiscent of a fork. See that? And that's actually one of the ways that you can differentiate the polypoioides <laughs> from the tortum. My tortum is still very young, so it's like it's not doesn't look that much similar right now, but when they grow up, they look very similar. Um, and the difference is that the tortum 
just has the one leaf stem, whereas stem isn't the right word, the one, the one prong <laughs> and the, the polypoidoides has three prongs like a fork almost. So there's the tortum, the side, the poly. I'm going to just say poly so I don't like stumble over the name over and over. <laughs> That's why I brought the tortum here was to compare for you. Um, another difference between the two of them is also when the new leaves come out. Um, the poly new leaves come out, uh, I believe, I haven't seen it in person, but um, I believe they come out with a reddish color when they first open and they are like all crumpled together and they slowly unfurl in like a really cool way. And the tortum ones do the same cool unfurling, but they come out like a pinkish brownish green somewhere in between. <laughs> so there's a pinky hue and a red hue. And I believe that's the difference. We'll see. There's not that much information online about the poly. Um, so, I mean, I don't have like exact information to share, but I can tell you that what I have found is that it is um, a subspecies of the philodendron fidatum. And that explains the shape, that very pedatum shape, <laughs> that fork structure. And um, I actually saw online someone was selling what they called, um, uh, sorry, my husband just opened the door. <laughs> um, so they were selling online what they called a polypodoides brackets tortum, and it was just a tortum. And I don't mean to diminutive to speak diminutively of the tortum it's a beautiful wonderful plant too but it was it's not both and they are separate plants so if you see that check for the structure of the leaf um to be sure of which one it is so you know which one you're buying and if you want it or not and um and what else was i going to say oh and they both come from the tropical regions of the americas and i believe from what I've been able to track down, I believe they have very similar uh, care to the average philodendron. So I'm not too worried. I think it's going to be um, an easy care situation. And I'm going to put it in a terracotta pot, which I love to use. I love terracotta in general, especially <clears throat> for phyllos. And yeah. I think that's it. I think that's all I was going to say about it today. Um, I will say that, like I said, there isn't a lot online about this plant yet. So I feel like there's really a need for that. So I'm going to, uh, at some point after I've gotten to know it a little bit better, I'm going to make a care video about this. So if that's something you're interested in, um, you should subscribe or check back in, whatever you prefer. And uh, eventually there will be care video to help you if you end up adopting one of these beautiful, gorgeous, tropical plants. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you for being here and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, etc. You can also follow me, follow me on TikTok or Instagram. And I also have a private group on Facebook. All of them are under the same name, the Leafy Loft MTL. Bye for now. <laughs>